Hey guys, just wanted to give you guys an update, you know, on what's going on with my dad. Um, he's been moved to a rehabilitation center a couple days ago, and uh, he got his own private room. He lucked out on that one. Um, so the the craziest thing, again, like I said in the previous videos, he's one of the most stubborn people I've ever actually seen. Like, his, he's so stubborn, his brain is stubborn. Like, they refused to just stop working. So, it was like three days in, my dad was already moving his arm and his leg. <clears throat> and by the time we were moving him to the rehabilitation center, he was walking. So, yeah. I mean, he's going to be, they've projected him to be home by next week. So, he's gone from having a stroke last Wednesday to possibly being released next week. So two weeks. Feels like it's been a lot longer, but it's been two weeks. Uh, or at least it will be two weeks, which is just, it's insane to think about that that's how quickly he turned it around. Um, but again, it's a projection. It's not guaranteed. So he might be a little bit, um, might even be a little bit longer. Maybe be at the rehab uh, center for two weeks instead of one. But... You know, my dad's going to work hard and, and get home, but he is just, he's just cruising along, man. I don't know what it is with that guy. Just doesn't want to, doesn't want to stop, doesn't want to slow down. Um, I think it's mostly because he knows he's got responsibilities, he's got things to do, um, which, by the way, he won't be doing. When he gets home, he's going to take it easy. Um, he's got four boys that can easily take care of, We they've got a wood stove, so got a cord of wood outside. Um, so we're going to, uh, put that away. I've been taking care of the lawn and everything, so, uh, he doesn't have to worry about that. <clears throat> Basically all the responsibilities, most of the responsibilities that he's had, the basic ones, um, here at home, I'm taking care of. Um, but anyway, yeah, so he's already doing better. They've got a brace on his left leg to help him. I think his leg or his ankle, um, but it's like, it's to help his help it I don't know stay straight or something like that like I don't know they I, I think they said it was to to help his uh ankle get better somehow it's a brace to help his ankle get better because he could he could you know move it forward move his foot forward but he couldn't tell his brain to bring it back so um yeah anyway it just this whole situation has been surreal I can't imagine what it's like to just be able to do all this, just, you know, do a bunch of crazy stuff with your arms and hands, and then just not be able to do that. He's in zero pain, no pain at all, but he just can't, like, at the beginning, he just couldn't tell his brain, or he just couldn't do it because his brain didn't know how to, and I can't imagine what that might be like. You know, he can feel things. He wasn't numb or anything. He could feel everything, but he couldn't do anything with it. You know, to he had to he would have to sometimes physically tell his brain move my hand or move my fingers or make a fist or whatever, and uh, it's it's the most it's the craziest thing to just watch, um, because we're so we're so unaware of things that we do with our hands and stuff like that. You know, we're constantly making gestures and stuff like that, and you know when you when you bring bring it up and you actually start paying attention, it's like oh yeah I am doing that, but. It's only when you start noticing it that you realize it's happening, but it's insane, uh, you know, and it's always said what we take for granted, but it's really, it's just being able to move our arms and our fingers and our hands and everything um, basically is involuntary movements, so to speak, like blinking and breathing are involuntary um, and moving your arm and your legs are kind of like somewhat, you know, sometimes you just move them without thinking it but then other times it's like well I should probably stand up and so you just think about it for a second you you stand up or whatever you move your leg or your arm and uh so you don't have to think about it very much and it's just really opened my eyes to to how important it is that we try to live as stress free as possible that's impossible to be completely stress free but um you know, we have to try to ease the stress in our lives because stuff like this can happen. And uh, it's not like, 
oh, it was just the stress. You know, it also had a lot to do with blood pressure and all that stuff. And in my family, high blood pressure, specifically in the men, is uh, pretty common. I have it, um, you know, so I, I try to not create so much stress for myself. You know, and I say video games are like a stress reliever for me, but <laughs> multiplayer games aren't. Um, but, you know, doing this, recording videos and, and playing games that I enjoy playing um, and I'm not super competitive in definitely helps me a lot as well as uh, just relaxing. You know, it's a very important thing that we have to keep our mind at ease. Otherwise, you know, you stress your out, yourself out too much and then something like this can happen. So <laughs> definitely have to try myself especially to uh, to reduce the the factors on that one a little bit and hopefully that doesn't happen to me but you never know it's always this was another situation when i found out it was like man I, I don't think that could have happened to him and it did so um you gotta be cautious but he's going to be just fine uh he'll be back very soon a lot sooner than we all thought and uh he'll probably be back to doing whatever he wants to do but i'll be sure to make sure that he's not doing anything too stressful but anyway thanks for watching guys um hope this kind of uh, puts some of your minds at ease i know I'm, I'm not at the forefront of your lives and i hope i'm not um you know but uh you know some of you guys probably have been thinking about what's going on and everything from time to time and i just figured maybe i'd let you guys know that he's fine he's going to be fine and he's going to be com coming home very soon so um, thank you for the well wishes. I really appreciate it. And I'm, I know he does. I told him all the time. <laughs> and um, thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys uh, watching some more of the uh, videos that I'm about to put out. See you guys later.